To cricket now at Aubrey Wodonga. Oh, I tell you what, this is being a oh, it's big predicting defending Premier St Pat's will be again the team to beat this summer. But there are a few dark horses, one or two, as the opening ball of the season is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. St Pat's knocked off Lavington in last year's final and they appear to be the teams to beat this season too. Trent Ball won't be coaching Lavington this year but is expecting a tight competition. St Pat's, obviously they won it last year. I think they'll be good again. Um, I think Wodonga, Robbie Jackson's team, they'll, they'll be hard to beat this year. But according to Robbie Jackson, St Pat's and Lavi aren't the only teams to keep a close eye on. Um, Tulane are going to be the, the dark horse. They've picked up a couple of uh, poms, so they look like they'll be there, thereabouts as well. So, uh, Of course, you've got North Aubrey as well, who's fairly strong, and East Aubrey are on the improve as well. Lavington has had an interrupted pre-season. They're still waiting on the arrival of their West Indian coach, Jason Smith, who's had issues with his working visa. We had a couple of with football. Liam Scammell's been overseas and Jason as well has been waiting on his visa. But um, the, other, the ones that are left, we've done enough and we'll get going. Sort of last couple of weeks, we've cranked it up a bit. Last season, rain marred the first few rounds of the competition. So players are hoping the skies stay clear for the start of this summer. Well, the ground's looking reasonably neat, yeah, so uh, a bit of sunlight from now on in and uh, the ground's will be uh, in excellent condition for us next week. The season gets going with the first round of the 2020 comp this Saturday before the 50-over format starts next weekend. Philip Pryor, Prime 7 News.